I didn't know the whole history behind it, you know, the ones that failed and the ones that succeeded. I read the script before I knew it was based on a video game. I loved the character. It was, it was exactly what I was looking for after, you know, doing, uh, you know, The Happening and The Lovely Bones. I wanted to, you know, find something with some real intensity and energy. And the script was great, so I don't care where it comes from, you know. And then I went and checked out the game out of curiosity, and it's, it's like a movie anyway. So, yeah, it seemed like a very natural fit. Now your name brings weight to the film, which you're at that point in your career where it's like Mark Wahlberg, all of a sudden people are gonna go see it before even knowing what the plot is. How does that feel? Well, I don't know. I mean, it, you know, it would be nice to think that, but my whole feeling is I always think that people go based on the, the, the images that they see from the film, whether it's the trailer or the 30 second spots or 15 second spots that they see on television. Um, and you know, if they're, if they're you know, genuine fans of yours and they know you're playing a role that's in your wheelhouse and that they like seeing you in, then maybe they'll go just out of curiosity. But for me, you know, I see a trailer, I see something that I like and then I'm going, you know, because you can be on Leno or some talk show talking about anything and you know, until people see what the movie is and you know, are interested in that kind of material then and I think that's what puts people in the seats. Well, at least for my friends because all of my friends are calling me now going now you finally got a movie that we really want to see you know because they won't say that your movies stink even if they think that you know because they're your friends although some of them would like to um, but you know it, it's really the kind of buzz that this one has is much more uh, much more powerful than the films I've had in the past. Now when you were starting out in your career did you have was it harder for you to make it because you came from singing, so people were Definitely. Pressured. Yeah, and people hadn't uh, hadn't paved the way, you know. Other musicians who had tried to make the, uh, the transition didn't do it successfully, you know. So me and Will Smith were kind of the first ones who were out there. Um, and I separate, I try to separate myself as far as possible from the music and that, that whole image. And just, you know, take it one role at a time and try to find interesting things. And of course, work with people that I was going to learn from. So, uh, you know, it's been a long, gradual process. That's what I tell Ludacris, man. It's a marathon, but it's not a sprint. But he's in it for the right reasons, you know. A lot of rappers and, and musicians will kind of come and get a paycheck here and a paycheck there, and that'll be it. Now, how's, how has the Oscar nod changed how you look at projects? Because you're like, oh, this would be fun, but is it going to mess with the Academy? You know, that's not why I chose to do The Departed, so... No, I would always joke and say, yeah, now I'm only going to be doing, you know, period pieces with Keira Knightley, you know. That's not, that's not what I do, you know. I think uh, there's plenty of different roles and maybe I'll get a crack or two, you know, here or there in the future to, you know, get up there and, and get the trophy. But that's not why I chose movies in the past, so it's not why I'm going to choose them now. Now, I know you do a lot of charity work and stuff like that. What do you want to, people to look back when they look at your career to remember you by? If I can inspire one kid who grew up in a similar circumstance to me to go out there and pursue their dreams, because I never thought there was any way, even though I loved movies, that was a thing me and my dad loved to do. Um, you know, if I can inspire somebody to go out there and really try to, you know, not take no for an answer and make it happen, then that's that's awesome. And having kids of your own, does that help you when you're you're acting? You're supposed to have a kid in, in the film. And of course, yeah. I mean, I don't. You know, I thought I knew what it was like to be a parent because I had 13 nieces and nephews, but you don't really understand what it's about until you have your own. And uh, getting in this headspace, that was the only thing I needed to prepare for was the fact that I would have to think about something horrible happening to my family for the entire course of the shoot. Did that Which, drain you? Yeah, it was. It was. I was definitely looking for the end of the shoot. You know, counting down the days and hoping to have my sanity back, but. Thinking about that immediately put me in that headspace, and I was as angry and intense as ever. So.